On Sunday, Attorney General William Barr delivered a summary of special counsel Robert Mueller's report summarizing his Russia investigation, but prominent senator and presidential candidate, Elizabeth Warren, D. Mass, is among those demanding the whole thing. She posted on Twitter as the nation grappled with the report's implications Congress voted 420-0 to release the full Mueller report. Not a summary from his hand-picked attorney general. AG Barr, make the full report public. Immediately. She's right, the House voted unanimously to make the full Mueller report public, but Senator Lindsey Graham, RSE, blocked that resolution from proceeding in his chamber, demanding that it get an outlandish call for a second special counsel to investigate the first one tagged on. President Donald Trump and his allies continue to deride Mueller and his associates as essentially cracked up, rogue prosecutors. Barr's summary hit only the most top-level key points of Mueller's probe, although he noted that more would be forthcoming as soon as his team determined what could not be released under federal law protecting grand jury proceedings. In the meantime, we know two things, Mueller concluded that no one in the Trump camp conspired or coordinated with Russian efforts to influence the 2016 elections, which proceeded along two main fronts, including the email hack targeting Democrats and the misinformation campaigns run by the Internet Research Agency, which Mueller's team already unveiled criminal charges over. He also declined to make a traditional prosecutorial determination as to the question of whether Trump is guilty of obstruction of justice, instead simply presenting the collected evidence for both sides. Barr and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein took it upon themselves to draw conclusions there, asserting that the president should be considered not guilty. The Trump team nearly immediately jumped on the development as complete vindication, although in his discussion of the obstruction allegation, Barr's letter explicitly notes that Mueller's report asserts that, while this report does not conclude the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him. The full report becoming public could no doubt help resolve the discrepancy 